Good evening, everyone. Uh, blessings. Um, making this short video to share a video that I saw earlier today. Um, and she's a famous... Uh, a famous lady that shares the word. I um, won't say her name, but I'll share the video. But she's sharing something she heard an interview that she heard uh, on CNN on um, regarding this uh, heavy metal guitarist uh, I, I don't know the group but according to the interview he was a very famous uh, guitarist and um, He was into heavy drugs, drinking, um, very out of control life. And when he was asked, it, it's powerful because he states that from one day to the next, that he gave his life to Jesus and the taste of wanting the drug and alcohol was gone from one night to the next. And it's, it's powerful. I've known of two people that that's happened. From one day to the next, they've given up their addiction. Um, but the power in it is that one needs to admit I have a problem this is out of control whatever addiction it is so the CNN reporter was kind of stunned that he said it was Jesus Christ so he was asked How? How was he able to do it from one day to the next? And he states it perfectly. I'll let you watch the video. I, I loved the words that he used because in most of my videos is what I share. <laughs> Sorry. We need to die to the flesh. <laughs> Dying to the flesh, loves. But I'm going to share. I won't say anymore. I'll let you watch the video. Um, but I'm, before I end the video, I'm going to share Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. And it states, I have been crucified with Christ. That's key, loves. We have been crucified with Christ. And it is no longer I who live. It is no longer us that live. But Christ who lives in me. That's who lives in us. is Christ. And the life which I now, now loves, live in the flesh. I live by faith. In the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. He didn't just give up his life for me. He gave up his life for everyone. But the key is, I have been crucified with Christ. And it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So if Lord Jesus took up all our sins up on that cross, loves how? How, if, if we've crucified ourselves with Christ, how? How is that sin still dwelling within one? It shouldn't. But heed the word. Study the word of our God. Because it is power. 
Again, I'm I'm here to make this this just to explain the video that I'll share. And again, I'll put it under the, the description box and I'll pin it um, at the first comment. Uh, pay attention to what he gave up is power of what he gave up. And that's loving Christ Jesus. And we die to ourselves. Blessing loves. Um, heed the word. And listen to the video from beginning to end. It is a sister in Christ that she's uh, in front of uh, an audience and she's sharing that her and her sister, and I, I guess this is why I, I, I'm sharing it too, because she says that her and her sister, when they stopped to hear the interview and, and 